horses are amazing high in gut fermenters. Uh, and here we have the gastrointestinal tract of a horse, and this is a ruminant sheep. Um, we have the stomach, the small intestine, the cecum, and the colon. And cecum and colon together we call the hindgut. And it's here in the hindgut where the horse has an enormous capacity to ferment less digestible fiber. The ruminant can do this as well, um, but they're not hindgut fermenters. They ferment the fiber in the rumen that's in the beginning of the gastrointestinal tract instead. And horses can increase the passage rate through their gastrointestinal tract uh, and on the, in this way survive on poor pasture. So they increase the passage rate and by doing that, they can eat a lot more and in that way compensate for lower nutritional value. Ruminants cannot do this. Uh, they have to ferment the fiber to a certain extent before it can continue through the intestinal tract. Um, so their, their rumens become full and they starve. But just because horses have this ability, we don't have to feed them forage of low nutritional value. Um, studies of free-ranging horses have shown that uh, when access to pasture is abundant, horses graze more selectively. They choose the grass uh, with higher nutritive content. And on poor pasture instead, they graze more indiscriminately. And that horses can choose the most nutritious has also been shown in a Swedish study with the standard bred trotters in race training. And early harvested energy rich forage does not have any negative effects on the hindgut environment. And to feed with early harvested forage um, gives a more stable intestinal flora and decreases the presence of bacteria associated with gastrointestinal disorders than to feed with a late harvested forage supplemented with the concentrate. And we will talk more uh, about the hindgut environment in, uh, in coming videos. So to choose forage for your horse, the best way is to start with the energy and protein requirements and their behavioral needs for eating during longer periods of time and to match this with a forage that can fill up the whole feed ration. Then we only have to supplement this with um, a suitable mineral feed and salt.